Welcome back, this is Brian Kidd with Unriddler, and today we're talking about the SAP AOV Grid. In this section, we'll discuss the many display options that we have available. So we've talked uh, up to this point about arranging the columns, sorting the columns, adding totals, filtering the data. Now we're going to talk about some other options that SAP provides to us, and it's essentially we're still seeing the data based on any other uh, filtering or sorting that we've applied. But there may be times just based on personal preference that we want to change some of the display options. And what we can do within display options are turn on or off the different grid lines, uh, whether they be vertical or horizontal grid lines. We also can t turn off the sorting that we see I'm sorry, the merging that we see when we actually sort the data. So by default, uh, the setting will merge those uh, columns so that uh, we'll see the first value, but any repeating value will be blank. But SAP does gives us, give us the opportunity to turn that off if we actually do want to see the value repeated uh, in each of the rows. Uh, there's also this notion of uh, optimizing the column widths. I'll show you how, uh, as we step through this, turning this option on or off, uh, it can have some different effects. I, I tend to turn it off, but it is quite nice when you have a column that uh, has different varying data in it, maybe a text column, maybe a name column that may have some very short name, and maybe other rows have a very long name. Uh, optimizing a column width is quite helpful. And then finally, we'll talk about the simple placement of the total rows. We, uh, again, by default, the total row is listed uh, at the very bottom of the port, and the subtotal row is listed at the bottom of that subtotal uh, column set. But we have the option to, to move that as well, so we'll discuss that. Back in SAP, we are looking at the uh, AOV grid, and I've uh, tweaked this a little bit from our last video, and I'm only showing uh, a single sub, single total on value and reporting currency and a single uh, subtotal based on cost element. So I've removed the subtotal on the offsetting account, uh, and I did that so we can highlight some of the differences that we have in the display options. Now, from the uh, AOV grid, we really don't have a way to turn these on and off. We must go to the change uh, layout dialog. And what we'll do is go to our last option here, which is display. And let's let's step through each of these and show you what, what would happen with uh, flipping these on or off. Now, first option is without horizontal grid line, so I'm going to check that, and I'm going to apply that change. And you, you can see what happens. It, it's, it's maybe a little bit su uh, subtle, but we now no longer have that horizontal grid line between each of our rows. That has been turned off with that option. Okay, let's go back and in our, our display tab, I'm going to remove that, and now I'm going to, well, let's, let's keep that on, and let's now also choose without vertical grid lines, and let's apply that, and now we can see that the grid lines that were between each column are not no longer displayed, so it's, uh, to me, I find this a bit harder to read, but it's, it's really personal preference. All of these options are uh, personal preference. So now we no longer have horizontal nor vertical grid lines. Okay, under display, I'm going to remove those. And now I'm going to flip this switch for without column headings. And what you'll notice is that generally speaking, with the exception of a couple of these, it's self-explanatory what each of these options do. So uh, with that simple description of without horizontal grid lines, it's, it's quite obvious that you will not be seeing uh, horizontal grid lines. But there are one or two that may not be 
apparent and I'll as I talk through these uh, we'll, we'll discuss each of those whether the name is descriptive or not I'll speak to each of these on our third option without column headings and as you might expect uh, by me choosing this option uh, I no longer have column headings not sure of a case where that I would ever use that unless I was maybe copying and pasting this into maybe an Excel spreadsheet that already had column headers I may use it for that case but um, more often than not I do want to see my column headers but we have the option to turn them off if we choose to and without cell merging and let me move this over because we've talked about this in previous videos but we can see that currently our data is merging meaning I'm seeing the first value but because I subtotaled by this column any additional rows will not display that value and this gives you a good visual of uh, where the data stops and starts but I'm going to choose to uh, this next option which is without cell merging during sorts and once I apply that it'd be apparent what's going on here now instead of having just the first value displayed and the remaining values in that set hidden now there's a value for every column shown here okay let's remove that option and now this is uh, with optimum column width now what you'll find will happen is without uh, I'm sorry with uh, optimum column width what happens is SAP once it refreshes the screen it's going to look to see okay what data do I have in each of these columns and it's going to widen or shrink the column to uh, contain that data so all the data can be displayed so let me let me apply that and maybe with our data set it may not be apparent but what you, you can see what's happened here because the cost element has only six characters here and the name is even longer than that these columns have gotten much narrower which uh, I like for the most part I like the idea of the optimizing the columns because now I know that it's going to reduce the column down to at absolutely as small as it can be and you'll notice even in this column we uh, SAP uh, the report has three different header columns displayed there's a short like a medium and then a long display so you'll, you'll notice right now it's showing me the absolute smallest but as I scroll this out You, you can see as a column gets wider it says okay now I've got more room I can display this but by optimizing the column it's going to make it absolutely as small as it can be and that's what we see here now the reason I mentioned sometimes I don't like that uh, I may be working hard to try to get everything within one screen and, and with this uh, I really don't have an issue but if I were to go here and add uh, more columns and I'm going to do that by this is another trick I'm going to I want to choose all of these here so I'm going to choose the first one I'm going to hold the shift key down and choose the last one in this this little page uh, there's many more columns here but I just want to get this page worth I'm going to move that over and now I'm going to apply the change and let's see that now we've got a lot more data on our screen and now we have a scroll bar now the reason I mentioned that sometimes I really don't care for for the optimizing is uh, for example building maintenance I may not need to see all of that build and maintenance maybe if the column was over this far I maybe could squeeze everything I wanted into one screen here without having to scroll but with this option chosen to optimize the columns it's going to look and say okay wait a second we need more room here to show all this data and it's going to widen it out here but if I choose that and
go back and remove that option. You'll notice that although I have uh, refresh the screen it in turn has not moved my columns around I can still have this column small enough and any other column small enough where I can get all my data into the same screen so uh, let's go back and apply that optimized columns and let's see what happens here because right now I can only see legal and then social but I can't see the uh, last word expense so let's see what happens when I do that And we'll choose with optimum column. And you can see what happens. Now SAP is saying, okay, you don't have enough room. You want to see you want to optimize a column. And now it has widened the column out so that all the data can be displayed. Again, you may not want to turn that off very often, but occasionally I do turn the optimized columns off simply because I'm trying to squeeze as much data as I can in one view here. And in order to do that, I may sacrifice a little bit of uh, the description on some of these longer columns so that I can get it all in one screen. Going back to our change layout, let's go to the next option. And I'm going to I'm going to retain that. And the next is, is obviously pure visual. And currently, you can see that uh, because we have a subtotal here, we are getting some break in the way this data is displayed, simply because the subtotal column is in yellow uh, on my screen. But if I wanted to break down this detail and have an alternating color between it, I can choose with striped column or with striped pattern. And once I apply that, you can see there's a slight difference in the color of the alternating column. One's light and then one's dark. So that's basically what that, that option uh, gives you. And I'm going to keep that there. And then we'll talk about displaying total rows above the, the, the entries. So now, by default, the totals are, the subtotals are below the entry. So I got my cost element group starting here, but uh, the total is at the bottom. And again, the, the grand total is at the very bottom of the screen. By choosing this option and applying it, you'll see that now my subtotal is at the very top. I'm sorry, my total is at the very top and my subtotal line is at the top of the group. So before the data set is displayed, I can see my total. Again, purely personal preference. And then finally, our last option is, and I'm going to uncheck that, uh, print out with dates, with date, title, and page number. So if I chose to print this and I'll show you how I can print it but if I choose to print it and I want to see the date the title and the page number which probably would be quite handy handy especially the date because you know data changes over time so seeing the date and certainly the title would be helpful uh, if I chose that option we won't see any difference on our screen here because we're not in print but if I choose and we can do the print preview here. We'll see these this items at the top display actual cost line items. We can see the date, um, and we can see a page number. So because I've chosen to print those items out by choosing that option in the print preview, I can see what would happen. Now, if I of course if I didn't have that check, this this data would not be displayed.